So this was the first time I've had a chance to look at your swim. Um, I think the first thing that I really noticed about your swimming is that you have a great reach. Um, you really keep yourself long and tall in the water. But in terms of things to work on, you can see here where you have a, a bend in your wrist and you're leading your catch with your elbow. Um, that right there is a really big problem because you're losing a ton of power. We talked um, a lot about having chicken wings when you're working on your catch and keeping your elbows up high and out wide. Um, I think for you that's going to be the biggest change that you can make that's going to help you the most. Um, right up there with that is holding that leading arm extension when you're breathing. You tend to push down um, so you've got nothing out in front of you when you're breathing, which is um, it's kind of eliminating that nice long position you start with in the water. So um, we definitely want to work on that too. It's also kind of hurting your breathing timing. Um, body position wise, you are pretty good. Your hip almost does break the surface of the water on every stroke. Your kick is also very strong. Um, I'm happy to see that because that will come into play in open water. I really think you have the most work to do on your catch working on the bent arm catch. Um, here again, you see you, you have a funny angle with your wrist on both sides. Um, here you're crossing under your body with your catch. So mostly for you, holding that leading arm extension and doing the catch up drill and working on your, your bent arm catch and keeping your arms shallow in the water from the start um, and really hinging on your elbow those are going to be the things that make the biggest difference for you. But overall, I think with a few little changes, um, you're going to see some serious improvement. Um, I really like the length of your stroke and how you reach forward and keep your body very straight. So that's something good uh, for you going forward. In a second, we'll have the overhead view where you can really see um, how well you do with that. I just took this from behind so you can see how the elbow slips in next to your body um, and you don't get a lot of a lot of strength there. Here you can see we're crossing over the center line a little bit on entry um, but then you do straighten it out. So I like how this looks. You can also see where you're pushing down and turning your head to breathe. Push down and breathe. So uh, that's something we want to eliminate. 